So if you wanna add animations to your Framer project, just like this one or this one, or even this one, it's actually really simple to do. So in this video, we're going to explore lots of files and how you can add them to your Framer project in a matter of minutes. Let's go. Okay, so here we are inside a Framer project and I've got this pretty nice landing page here, but in this section is down here, I actually wanna make my site come to life a little bit more with an animation. Now, in my browser here, I've got a site called Lottie Files. Now, if you're not aware, Lottie Files is a place where you can find really cool motion design and animations to add to your website. Now, the main benefit of this is it's not just a MP4 file. It's actually a very specific type of file, which is called a dot JSON file, which is a animation built for the web. Think of it similar to how a vector image is different to a PNG image. Where possible, you wanna do a vector because it's much lighter and it works much better with the web and for multiple different browsers. Same thing with Lottie files, where it's actually a better format to have a .json and actually integrate that into your website because it makes your website faster and much cleaner. So all I need to do is head to lottiefiles.com and create a free account. And I can search for any animation. So if I look on my website here, we want something to do with an API. So something technical. So let's search tech. And you'll see already we've got an array of different options here. Now there's heaps I can choose from, but for now let's select this one. And what I'm gonna do is press on download and we're gonna download the Lottie JSON file. And let's open that in my browser. And I'm just gonna rename this something so I can find it later on. And now what I'm gonna do is go back to Framer and we're going to go to the insert menu and we're gonna search for Lottie. Now there's two different types of elements that we can use here. We can use dot Lottie, which is a direct integration with the website that we just used, or Lottie, which is essentially the same thing. When we speak about Lotties, we're talking about .json files. So whether it be the Lottie files direct website or another sort of Lottie competitor, they all use .json for their extension. So we just need to make sure that that's the file that we've got. So let's drag that .lottie onto our canvas and you'll see we've kind of got this default illustration here and let's just go ahead and resize this to be 100% width and 100% height. And we're also gonna make it that the layout is on for the frame so everything fits quite nicely. Now inside this .lottie component here, you'll see that we've got a bunch of different options. I can either put the source link, so the actual link to where my Lottie animation is, or I can upload the file. So this is where I'm gonna go into my files and we're gonna search for my .json file. And you can see it's basically a bunch of text, but when I open this inside of Framer, it actually translates that text to my animation here. So if I click on play and scroll down to that section on my website, you'll now see we have this really nice animation that loops inside of Framer. Now we can control this even more. So for some lossy animations, you might be able to actually switch out the background color. In this case, the background color is fixed. So we're just gonna make the rest of the backdrop be white. We can also turn on and off controls if we want someone to actually scrub through the player themselves. And we can also set the direction of that animation. So whether we want it to play like normal or if we want it to play in reverse, we can absolutely do that too. Now, if we select hover play, this means that when I hover on my Lottie animation here, it'll actually play. So let's try that. And let's scroll down to Lottie animation and let's hover on this. And you'll notice when I hover, it plays that effect. And again, it'll just loop. So this is really powerful if you wanna create any sort of really interesting hover states with a bit more flair. Now I can also set this to loop or not to loop. So essentially, will it repeat? And I can also set the speed. So let's say we want it to play twice as quick. We can do that here. And progress refers to the starting state of my animation. So if I set the progress to be 40, that means when my animation starts playing, it's actually going to start at 40% of the way through. So let's preview this again and let's scroll down to my website. You'll notice when I hover, it starts playing my animation and it stops just like so. So let's take this a step further and let's actually try something with a transparent background. So for example, if we take something like a loading animation. So let's find an animation just like this one. And let's go ahead and download this too. 
Okay, and now let's go back into our .loe and let's change the file source. And let's paste in our new JSON animation, which isn't gonna look very good because it's literally just going to be the loading state. So let's switch back some of our settings. Let's set the speed to be one. Let's set the progress to be zero. We're gonna make it that it's gonna automatically play. And because it's a loading state, we wanna set it to be loop. Now what we can do here, and this is the really powerful thing about a Lottie animation compared to an MP4, is we can actually remove the background. So if I just change the transparency to be zero on all my elements here, and then preview my site once again, you will notice that my Lottie animation is playing and it looks really great. Okay, so that's how you add a Lottie animation inside of your Framer project. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel because we're putting out more Framer content every single week. And if you're interested in mastering Framer, check out my ultimate Framer masterclass of Flux Academy, which is my A to Z course on mastering Framer and getting paid more money. And if you're not already, consider following me on Twitter because I put a ton of content out there as well. But until next time, I'll catch you later.